Hello, in this problem we have to determine if this function is even or odd. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So recall a function is odd if whenever you plug in minus x, you get back minus f of x. And this has to be true for all x in the domain of the function. So in this problem, um, to determine if it's odd, we're basically going to plug in negative x. If your function is even, when you plug in negative x, you just get back f of x, and this is for all x. So again, in this problem, to determine if our function is even, we just plug in negative x. So in any case, in these problems, all you have to do is start by plugging in negative x. If you get this, then the function is odd. If you get this, then the function is even. All right, so let's start by plugging in negative x and see what happens. Oh, and if you get neither, then the answer is neither. So f of negative x is equal to, so instead of x, we have negative x plus, instead of x, we have negative x. So this is really negative x minus one over x. And then you can pull out a negative one here. So this is negative one times parentheses x plus one over x, right? Factoring out the negative one. And you can check negative one times x is negative x negative one times one over x is negative one over x. But this is special, this is f of x, it's what we started with, right? So this is negative one times f of x, which is the same thing as negative f of x. And this is good for all x, not equal to zero, right? Because zero is not in the domain. So we have that f of negative x is equal to negative f of x for all x, not equal to zero, so that means f is an odd function. And that completes the problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.